Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Dining with Beer. Today we have a very special guest, it's my friend Ben. Hi, I'm Ben, uh, senior here at Purdue, mechanical engineering, graduated in what, four days? So, yeah. Congratulations, running out of time, so um, time to be on the show finally, right? Yeah. <laughs> Tell us, what, what are we making today? Today we are making essentially just a giant cookie, but uh, cookie pie is what it's called. One giant cookie. Cool. Okay, and, uh, and how are you qualified to be a special guest on Dining with Drew? What are your ex experiences in the kitchen? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> no, none at all. <laughs> well, I heard you, uh, you're you pretty good at making a, you make a mean frozen frozen oven pizza, right? So. Yes, I turn the timer on to 18 minutes and uh, walk away. <laughs> so this is kind of the same thing, right? It's like a big pizza, but it's a cookie. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. First, we will go over the ingredients. So the first one is one stick of butter, and we're going to melt this. Next. Uh, you got a half cup of light brown sugar. Light brown sugar. You see how it's light at the top and dark at the bottom, the light part. Uh, <laughs> you got a quarter cup of sugar. Yeah, that's totally what it is. <laughs> well, I mix two different types of brown. I, I can see that. Quarter cup of sugar. Quarter cup of sugar. Uh, yeah, one egg. One egg. Uh, yeah, teaspoon of vanilla. You got vanilla. Uh, you got one and a half cups of flour. Flour. You got half a teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda. Quarter teaspoon of salt. Two cups of chocolate chips. So half a bag. Half a normal, no, one full normal <laughs> bag, like an <laughs> eighth cups. of this bag. Two, two cups. All right, and then you'll need some cooking spray, nonstick cooking spray, or whatever like that. The recipe calls for a nine inch pan. We, I've been using a 12 inch pan forever, and I don't think I've ever used a nine inch pan, so go with the 12 inch pan. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we got our stick of butter. Uh, if it's not already room temp, melt it, because um, otherwise it won't be so fun. Half cup of light brown sugar. Quarter cup of sugar. An egg. <laughs> no. I was about to be like, oh, we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> like, okay, we're going to judge that egg cracking, and then you did it like really fast, and it actually worked out well until you dropped it on the floor. But One teaspoon of vanilla. All right. Get in there, chop the butter up, and just mix it till it's fluffy. Yum. But did any end up on the counter or just the... I think there's a little bit to the right of the bowl. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what happened? Uh, it hit right here. <laughs> okay, cool. Now we're going to add the flour, baking soda, salt, and chocolate chips into this little baby mixing bowl. So we're going to do... Uh, one and a half cups of flour. Should probably use the flat side. I made cookies last week, and usually when I make cookies, I just like eyeball all the ingredients. But I got like made fun of by my friends for doing that. And then the next time I made cookies, I like actually like carefully followed the recipe and like measured everything. Uh huh. It makes a difference. <laughs> yeah. It's because when you're cooking, you don't have to like measure everything, but when you're baking, like you really should. So I learned my lesson there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, flour, then we're gonna do a little bit of baking soda. We're gonna do this little sink because it always. You know, you can just stick the measuring thing in, right? Yeah, the hole's not that big though. Well, make it bigger. <laughs> ben! <laughs> Quarter teaspoon of salt. That's not a lot of salt. A little extra, it's okay. All right, 
right, so we just got a bunch of bunch of flour and stuff in there, and we're just gonna just gonna it's not that hard. <laughs> Mix in the baking soda and salt. Lovely. Oops. All right, add like a little bit at a time and to the other mixture and start stirring it up. Like a couple scoops at a time and then just yep. mix it in. You know, my grandma gave me a like a chef coat for Christmas. Yeah, where is it? I haven't worn it yet. I probably should. Today would have been the perfect opportunity. Might have prevented that. Maybe I'll go change for the second <laughs> half. <laughs> totally forgot. Shout out to Grandma. <laughs> All right, that is looking pretty, pretty evenly mixed, if you ask me. I have um, I have like an apron too. That's my face on it. Okay, after the mess we just made, I think we might need some protection. <laughs> Wait, that's not right. <laughs> That's better. All right. <laughs> Two cups of chocolate chips. One. Seems like a lot. It is a lot. It, it's about half chocolate chips. Oh, yum. Two. All right. <laughs> Look at how many are in there. Just a few. <laughs> I promise that's what the recipe calls for. So, got our spray. Got our spray. Okay, now we're just gonna like flatten it into like a cookie shape. So, it doesn't have to be perfectly to the edges, but pretty close, it looks pretty good. Um, I'd say smooth at the top bit, um, and then it's good to go in the oven. All right, so we'll pop that in the oven at 350 for, you said 10 12 to, to 15. 12 to 15 minutes. And there you go, we will see you in 12 to 15 minutes. So, about the weather. It's weather. Okay, so it's been about 13 minutes, so we're gonna take a peek. Giant cookie. It's very soft, don't no. touch it. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I touched the chocolate chip, I didn't see. All right, so we'll leave it on the pan on top of the oven for a couple minutes to finish cook in for a little bit and then we'll cut it. All right, so that is looking very delicious. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut it. Usually you'd use like a pizza cutter, but I don't have one, so we're just using a knife. Oh, that was a smooth cut. so good with some milk or ice cream or yeah well there you have it one giant cookie <laughs> all right thank you so much ben congrats on graduating thank you and we will see you next time